Hello, my name is Christopher Williams, and some people call me the Black Da Vinci. I love to draw live. I never wanted to be that guy that hides behind his artwork and waited for you to purchase. That guy scares me. I love the interaction. I love the crowd. I love culture. I love people. And most of all, I love art. It is my interpretation of reality. It's never perfect, often flawed, but such is life. Here is a narrative explanation of my work and the inspiration behind the art. This untitled piece was one of the first watercolors I painted. I wanted to call it Beauty is Only Skin Deep, but I felt the title was too long. It has to do with society's view on what is beautiful, so much so most women would risk death to beautify themselves. Miles Before I Sleep was originally a pencil sketch. I decided to enhance the picture through Photoshop. I wanted the hands to remain contour. I changed the skin bronze to give it that feel that he's breathing life into his vibrant trumpet. The Good Luck Elephant. This was a quick charcoal study I did while living in Huddle, Texas. Huddle, Texas is also known for the Huddle Hippo. But instead of drawing a hippo, I drew an elephant instead. Culturally, they bring good luck, especially when the trunk is upward. I rarely paint with just ink, but when I do, I love to emphasize a red against a black background or texture. Raven was a challenging piece because I wanted the image to be soft, yet have a rough look about it. John Singer Sargent's Madame X. This master copy was my most challenging piece to date. This was painted at a studio in San Francisco. Although it is not as tall as the original, which is seven feet, the amount of detail, color matching to brushstrokes made me understand what Sargent went through to draw Madame Gautier. The story behind Madame X was that of a scandal and controversy by the French for that time period. I left the strap down because that's how it was originally painted. I hope I made Sargent proud. Here is an interesting fact. Frida Kahlo and I both had accidents that directed us to art and affected our lives. This piece is titled Last Dance with Frida. This was painted in one color, Payne's Gray. You can see the beauty and the sadness in this piece. Frida helped me, it sounds odd, but yes. By painting this piece, it directed me on what I wanted to do with my life and what I can accomplish in art. The Princess of Cameroon and the Black Da Vinci or known as the butterfly and the spider. This is an oil painting of my wife and I for our two year anniversary. The butterfly resembles beauty and the spider creativity. I just can't get started. Music is fruit series, it consists of four watercolor paintings. I made this for my mother and her journey as a music therapist. This piece or pieces were also inspired by Ella Fitzgerald the jazz jingle, I just can't get started. This is my interpretation of a woman's soul. Vibrant and radiant, also bold. The glowing orb, the second woman on the right is touching, is the sun. It is a subtle metaphor, meaning, without the sun there is no life, without woman there is no life. Soul of a woman. The 9-11 series, which is still in progress, these pieces are in remembrance for the lives lost on 9-11. When the nation fell silent, I wanted to depict the different emotions felt that day. The anger, the shock, the sadness, the pain, the helplessness, and the denial. The most powerful piece so far in the series is that of the old veteran, a hero that is reduced to only watch chaos that happened. This piece is titled Chinese Opera Mask. This is a watercolor painting that I wanted to give an illusion of a melting mask in a hot sun. There is a hidden message behind this painting. It is art history and culture is melting away. Oh, and that little logo in the bottom right hand corner, that's my signature. It's my left hand print. 
this was a fun piece that I drew of a model in uh, David Lodebert's class in Sac City College. It was really fun. And instead of drawing just the model by herself, I decided to duplicate her and create sort of a uniformity to the piece. Athena's Grace, based on the Greek goddess Athena and her shield of Medusa's head. This was a challenging piece because it was all in pastel, and pastel likes to smudge. But the goddess Athena and I had other plans. It arrived in Maryland just fine. The Watermelon Princess Part 2. This was painted live at the Denim Spot off of 20th and J in Sacramento. This was a second Saturday show that we had, and it was very successful. This piece means the world to me. It has to do with my ex-wife's infidelity and her telling me my artwork would never amount to anything. That night I dreamt of Frida. The next morning I wrote a letter to Frida. I have been drawing ever since and found a new wife. The Cherry Blossom and Bee. It's just like nature's beauty and simplicity. One of my favorite pieces of all time it is titled Chocolate Mondays. It's watercolor, uh, 18 by 24, and it has to do with an African-American woman and her hair waking up to face a Monday. And the last piece I want to show you is my most recent. It is titled Elephant Magnifique. It is my version, my modern version of Dumbo, and I wanted to put butterfly ears on an elephant to give the illusion of flight because elephants are so awesome and I do believe they can fly. This was painted live at the Raw Underground event held at Ace of Spades, August 12th. It was a wonderful time filled with laughter, loud music, and even a cool fashion show. I want to say thank you for taking the time to view this video of my work. Some people say you have to have passion for what you do. You have to love what you do. But over time, love is lost. Passion withers away. Credos are just words lost in time. But your soul lives forever, and my soul is art. When you meet me, and I hope you do, I'm going to shake your hand, and I'm going to say, hey, my name is Christopher Williams, The Black Da Vinci.